So we're back for another Dokkan video. This one, it's a fresh bit of news, hot off the presses, a Dokkan, Dokkan exclusive from I Seriously. He's thrown this image up on his Twitter, Dual Dokkan Festival, and I believe Air Dokkan has also quote tweeted, almost seemingly confirmed that the part one LR Vegito Blue and LR Fusion Zamasu will be Dual Dokkan Festival. So it seems if they're just completely completely thrown the Dokkan Festival X Carnival format well I say Dokkan Festival X but Dokkan Festival and Carnival format to the wayside it looks like they're not going to go back to that which I find pretty surprising they really only tried that out for one year from the eighth anniversary as well I believe yeah it was dual Dokkan Festival because it was the Boo Duo and then the GT Duo for part one and then the two Dragon Ball intro units Carnival Allies being part two again I I don't know how this is gonna work because if we take a look at last year right I thought this was somewhat hype, but this was pretty good. I think making cool with the Dokkan Festival LR was a good choice. I think making Goku the Carnival LR was then a good choice because we already knew that Goku would have sold well anyway, but Cooler probably, if he was made a Carnival LR, would not have sold that well. And then that kept us somewhat excited for part two. And whilst these units, I I'll say, haven't aged the best or they weren't great on release. I mean, Cooler actually was very good on release. The, the you know This pair was a bit weird. At least there was a bit of suspense or hype part two now it's just kind of like well dual dokkan festival fusion zamasu dual, i say dual, dual dokkan festival but dokkan fest fusion zamasu dokkan fest vegeto blue and then i presume the carnival lrs for part two are gonna be like goku black and trunks that's probably my guess so yeah let me know guys think of it that's pretty much all there is to cover i i i don't really think there's a major implication of this i think this will probably benefit the player base more so than those who i said the player base this will benefit the average player more so than i think big spenders right because now we don't have to i say we don't have to wait but for those who don't spend money you don't have to wait till part two to see what part two is going to be and remember the discounts for part one typically end before the part two banner starts so i think this is a probably a, a definitely a good change for the average player base i, I presume for the top one percent it doesn't really matter because they're going to rainbow everything anyway but yeah let me know what you guys think um i do think the carnival banners are very good again my only i would say disadvantage to the carnival format in general is the coin they didn't need to i think introduce a brand new coin system i think just having the blue coins would have served the purpose fine and again the banners are actually pretty good themselves right like they have a lot of lrs if some of these lrs are pretty mid right now like i don't know i mean actually a lot of these lrs already have their easy a's huh i mean you don't have an easy a and neither do you, but like, you know, some of these older units are coming up on easy A's eventually, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah, it looks like that's the format. Maybe they saw the backlash from last year because there was quite a lot of uproar for like two weeks before the banners release, and then even when the banners release, people weren't really on board with the content format. Again, I'm just going to stick to they didn't need to introduce a brand new coin. Otherwise, I think the format is actually pretty good. Just one thing I'm going to touch on as well. Yesterday, there was a doke on Twitter. The doke on Twitter. Uh, on Dokkan's official Twitter, they dropped like a five minute video. It's confirmed that it will be a Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue who transform into Vegeta Blue, which is pretty obvious because if we take a look, this is a transformed version of, of the gods. And then this is irrelevant because this is an SSR and TUR that nobody uses. So that's pretty good. Um, and then Fusion Zamasu, unfortunately, they've just titled him as Fusion Zamasu, so that, which, which sucks because if we take a look at Legends, um, can we actually pull this up real quick? I wonder if we can do this on the fly. Fusion Zamasu on Legends, of course, is called Corrupted Zamasu. What's the best way to pull him up here? Go to Regen, maybe. Let's find Regen. Yeah, as you can see, he's called Half Corrupted Fusion Zamasu. That's what he should be called on Dokkan as well. But for whatever reason, they're just going to call him Fusion Zamasu. Again, they can easily change that. Like, legitimately, a one megabyte data download. And everything's good to go. But I just feel like if they were going to announce the units on twitter and not really point out that he's not called half corrupted fusion zamasu i don't think they're likely to change it which sucks again because whilst this unit is not that great uh this doesn't really matter because it's a transforming version anyway so subsequent fusion zamasu will link with him anyway this unit is still not bad like he just needs a team so if it is just named fusion zamasu these two won't share any links together which sucks because let's be honest extreme class units are pretty pretty mediocre at the minute so yeah thank you guys for watching you guys think of it being dual dokkan festival format for part one and i presume a dual carnival format for part two and yeah catch you in the next one